This video introduces acceleration and discusses the acceleration load dialog. Acceleration simulates the effect of a static, uniform, linear acceleration acting on an instance. Acceleration is only applied to the whole instance. Individual faces cannot be loaded. Example scenarios for this type of load include an accelerating or decelerating vehicle or an analysis where the effect of gravity cannot be ignored. To add an acceleration load to the assembly, select Acceleration from the Assembly Toolbar. The Acceleration Load dialog appears. Select a single instance in the assembly on which the load should be applied. Next, establish a load direction with an explicit or implicit make connector. The load direction is aligned with the make connector's z-axis. The direction for the push and pull of the load can be reversed along the z-axis by clicking the opposite direction arrow. Load direction is configurable for each simulation. Once a load direction is established, a solid line extends from the instance outward with a load direction arrow placed at the end of the line. Each load type has its own unique icon. Now that a load direction is established, set the magnitude of the load along any of the three axes. The magnitude units may vary and are set by the document's workspace units, defined as linear acceleration default unit or from your account preferences. Change the magnitude to the desired amount for any of the axes. The load is applied to the entire instance body. Click the green checkmark to accept the load. When the icon is selected from the graphics area, the icon and loaded instance region turn orange. Right-click the load direction icon to open a context menu with options such as edit the load, hide, suppress unsuppress, and delete load. Enable show results. Enable show deformation inspect the results and adjust the deformation scale as needed.